So Create Studio has a number of transitions that you can use and some you can even adapt for your own purposes. And I did a tutorial on the one-click transitions and I'm gonna show you the reveal transitions. I haven't actually used these for a while. I got, I think that they came out when CS Pro start, when CS Pro was launched. Um, and I did a lot of videos then, but I don't quite remember what they were called, so I couldn't find them. So I quickly went in and made a couple things. So they're nothing fancy, but these are really cute. They are from our scenes. So if you go in to your scenes, um, can I not get in there? This is the, um, I'm trying to look really quickly. This is the beep and I'm trying to see where to get all of the scenes. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take too many moments with that. But anyway, so I just grabbed a few of those and I changed them. And what I did is I also changed the background because when you're using the one, um, the reveal transitions, it really can come down to what the first image in the transition to the next image and how much those are similar or different so that you can really see the transition that happens. So I'll show you what I did with that in a moment. Um, I have three scenes and I did the transition at the end of the scenes. So that was on groups. So you can use the reveal transitions on groups. You can also use them on images. You can also use them on videos. I didn't, sh I didn't put a video one in here, but you can use them on that as well. So I have two of the same images and I did them two different ways. So I wanna show you this one first and it's just the seasons. And then I have a reveal transition between each of them. And you could put words on here, you could put poems, you could do whatever. I made these really, really quick. If you look at this, it doesn't look too bad. And you can see that the, um, you can see the color change and what I did in here, this is how long it is. So you can make the transition as long or as short as you want. So let me pull that over. So this one would be a much longer reveal. So you could do it that way. This one's quicker. You can change those up. I was wondering what happened to our fourth season. Um, and if you notice on here, I have the reveal transition at the beginning of the image that is coming up. So the second image. I put it up here because I tried that to see how I liked that one. I already mentioned about the color difference and sometimes that can make a difference. So I did try something a little different. And so I'll just show you what I did. Let me even just ungroup this. So here, I do have it a little quicker, I think. Um, I actually put a black bar in between that also had a fade out. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to see if it would make a difference in the transition as it went. And if you could kind of see that transition a little bit better. I'm not sure that it made a huge difference, but I think you definitely can see how the image is changing. And again, if I make that longer, you'll see it even more. So the key to what you wanna do is, there, so that went a little bit longer. So the key to what you wanna do is really looking at what transitions you wanna use and how it looks when it's going from the first to the second image. So your transitions for this are right up here. If you have your layout as the left bar, it's right here. And if you have it like the old panel, 
Oh, I guess I haven't used that here, but I guess that's still over here too. So I've been using the um, minimal. So it's at the top or it's right on the side. So what you're gonna do, let me grab this. Um, let's just grab these two images. And then I'm gonna make that full screen. And then I'm going to go to summer, make that full screen, and I'm going to move that to the side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here and you, and you can check out, oops, sorry. You can check out all the different kinds that you want. You can see the image preview here. So let's try this one. You're gonna click and drag it to the image. And then you're going to have two options. It will come on to at the start. You can have it as a reveal transition. Turn that off. You can have it as a conceal. So that's when it would be at the end. And if you're putting it at the end, you'd want to put the image it's going to underneath so that it reveals it. Otherwise, it's just going to show the image without any kind of reveal. So you always want to have the picture it's revealing to under. When I showed you my example here, that's in the first one that I didn't ungroup. Where I put it at the start, then I had it on top. I just wanna separate those. These are the two different, so now I have both viewing. Here I had it, as a reveal instead of a conceal. So I put the image that was going to be revealed on the top. If you're doing the conceal, it's gonna be on the bottom. And then you're just gonna play around with the timings and see what effect you want. That's not really a good, um, <laughs> that's not really a good transition for this kind of image to go coloring like that. I don't, or at least it's not what I would think. So if you want to change it, the only thing you do is you just go right back up here. I think I use these kind. Click and drag it, drop it, and it's going to replace it. And here's the preview of what that transition is. And here I want it to be a conceal. I'm going to turn off the reveal. I'm going to make that longer, the transition. And then I'm just going to play it. And that's kind of nice. So you can just go in and just check all of the different transitions. And what I did with the beep is um, I just took the scenes from the scenes that Create Studio provides us. And here inside this group are the character, the, the um, background color, the text, everything is in here in the group. So when you choose your reveal transition, it's going to affect all items in that group. So you want to make sure it's grouped so that then they all are revealed, or in this case, concealed at the same time. And nothing is, nothing remains. I think the one other thing that I wanted to show you beyond just going up here and just playing around with these, I think some of them are great. I think some of them work with some images, some with others. I felt the same about, remember those one click transitions? Some of them work better than others for some Im images. So you really just want to play around and see. But I want to show you one other place. So we have the um, one click, we have these reveal transitions here. I keep going to the effects right here. We have the one click transition here. There's also in your studio, did I go by them? I haven't used them for a while. There they are. You have tons of transitions in here as well. And again, you can see the preview of what you would want. So we have some of these, we have some shapes. We have some of these kinds of action ones that are cartoony. So you've got a lot of those. And these, let me see. Um, 
Now, obviously, this isn't what I would do. Again, just like the other things I've shown you, you can just turn it off or you can delete it if you exit. Um, some of these, you can actually change the color. I don't know if this is going to be one of them. So you can't change the color on this one, although you could use some of the filters to make a change. So I think it's actually, and I'm going to delete that. I think it's some of these shape ones that you can change. So let's see what that looks like. I hadn't planned to do this, but um, maybe that's not. See, I didn't plan in advance. That's a video, so you can't change that. Um, I know I've changed some of them before. I just want to delete that. Um, let me see. So there's tons of different ones here. There's doodle ones. Oh, these are the ones. So some of these shape ones that you see here, you'll then be able to go in and change the colors. So if you choose some of these, it's meant for a different um, resolution. So let's just open that up for a minute. You can go in here and change. I want to see all the colors. You can change the colors. So maybe you want red to start and then you want to have a light blue and then you want to have a dark blue. You can do that and you can quickly and easily change. And then you could change the logo as well. If you hit replace and you had a logo in here, um, I don't. So we'll change it with the um, winter. Um, I'm going to undo that because that does look silly. But you can just very easily and quickly change it there. So those are your reveal transitions. Play around with them. And then check out the other ones that are in the studio. We have some holiday ones, things like that. And then there are a whole bunch of, there's tons in here. Just go in and look at them. And you will see a whole bunch of them that you can use in your projects.